Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. In this video, you will learn about what is API and how does API work. Let's assume you want to create a website or mobile application that should display the current weather of a city. Instead of programming everything from scratch, developers use existing feature of a weather website and integrate that in the new website or application. It can be done using weather API where developers can call API from website and API can get the data from weather server or database and send the response to your website. So an API is like a collection of predefined rules and functions that other app developers have created. It acts as a gateway that allows your app to interact with those existing apps. You can request a specific information or actions from those apps using the API. Let me show you the definition of API. What is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. An API is a set of rules and protocols that allows different software applications to communicate and interact with each other. It defines how different software components should interact, what data can be accessed and what operation can be performed. Now let's talk about how does API work. APIs work by defining a set of rules and endpoints through which application can request and exchange data. When an application wants to use the functionality of another application or service, it sends a request to the API, specifying the data it needs or the operation it wants to perform. The API processes the request and send back the response, typically in a specified data format such as a JSON or XML. Developers can use API to make requests and get responses. Let's take an example. Let's assume you went to the restaurant and you want to order food. To get food, you don't go into kitchen to cook the food yourself, right? What do you do? You call a waiter who takes your order to the kitchen and then chef prepares the food according to your request. And after that, waiter delivers that prepared food to you. In this example, you as a customer act as a requester. We can say that application who requests for food. The waiter acts as an API which takes order from customer and convey to chef. And then chef acts as an API server or service providers that fulfills your requirements and send your order to you through waiter. Let's see this screenshot. You can see in this screenshot we have this end user with browser, this is API and this is server. So the requester is requesting for data using this API, right? Requesting the data using this API and then API is just going to this server and then getting the data and then is giving the response to this end user. You can see using this example, customer is making the order and then waiter here is taking the order and then it's conveying this order to the chef and then chef is preparing the food for you and then waiter is bringing the food from kitchen and then delivering that order to the customer. So here waiter is working as API and this customer is working as a end user and this chef is your server that API server. Now let me show you a few websites which support API. You can see this is weather API website openweathermap.org. So using this weather API we can get the current weather. This so these are the data that we can access it from this open weather from weather API. We have this developers.google.com. You can see this is YouTube data API. That YouTube API allows developer to interact with the YouTube's feature and data programmatically. Developers can perform various operations such as searching for videos, retrieving videos details, managing user accounts and more. We have this WhatsApp API. 
The WhatsApp business API allows medium and large businesses to communicate with their customers at a scale. Using this API, business can build systems that connect thousands of customers with agents or boards, enabling both programmatic and manual communications, right? Here you can see this is for Twitter API. The Twitter API can be used to programmatically retrieve and analyze Twitter data as well as build for the conversations on Twitter. Here we have Amazon Seller Partner API. So this Selling Partner API is a REST REST based API that helps Amazon selling partners programmatically access their data on orders, shipments, payments and much more. Now we have Flipkart. This Flipkart marketplace seller APIs allow us sellers, apl sellers applications to programmatically access and exchange data with the Flipkart marketplace. A seller can use these APIs to search orders, print shipping labels and invoices and manage orders at different stages of the order life cycle. I hope this video is very helpful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet and please share this video with your friends and thank you so much for watching this video.